Hello everyone, welcome back to Idle Manager. We are no longer stressed and depressed, well maybe a little bit, but you know, we are set on money pretty much. Fujimoto's working for us, so I don't think I'll have to ever worry about business deals ever again. Not that I was before, because Yucatan is on my side. We've entered a new chapter of the story. Let's see. You head to the address Yucatan gave you for the government. Oh right, the government contacted me. That's crazy. Is this building really where representatives of the Ministry of Culture work? Ah, oh, Miss Lee. Oh, you're here. How have you been? I don't think I've seen you since the last time we spoke on the set of Nation of Idols. Has it really been that long? It feels like a lifetime ago. Anyway, it's good to see you. Are you also here to meet with them? Actually, I'm here with the Ministry of Culture. Oh. I guess you could say I'm a representative or an ambassador for the Ministry. Not an international ambassador or anything like that. More of a cultural ambassador. I don't think there are many government departments that I'd feel comfortably qualified to play a major role in. But when it comes to culture, I think I'm rather suited to the role, don't you think? After all, entertainment is such a big part of culture. Anyway, I'll cut to the chase. As you probably know, Tokyo is hosting the International Summer Athletic Games in July of 2029. Do they usually run those on the, in that year? And I'm part of the planning committee for that event. Hmm. Weren't they supposed to host it in the 20 in 2020? Oh yes. I remember being extremely disappointed when I found out that the, that the 2020 Summer Games were canceled, but. What else could be done, given the circumstances? After all, I'm sure you remember the world events that resulted in the event being delayed. <sighs> to be honest, I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> I guess the silver lining is that the Summer Athletic Games Committee decided that Japan would host the event in 2029, even though they don't usually do that that year. I know these things are planned out decades in advance, but things were so disrupted in the host countries for future years that they ended up completely shuffling, shuffling things around. Obviously, there's an incredible amount of prestige associated with, with hosting the Summer Athletic Games. It's an event with over 100 years of history, with representatives from hundreds of different countries around the globe gathering to compete. So there's a lot of work that goes into preparing for an event like this. Hmm. Why does this concern me? As you're no doubt aware, part of planning for the Summer Athletic Games includes planning for the closing ceremony, which is a two-hour event. It's a massive stadium event that includes a number of performances, including musical performances from some of our nation's most notable artists. Hence my involvement. I'm specifically assigned to the committee that's involved with finding candidates who can give a musical performance during the Summer Games closing ceremony. And you're on the short list of candidates. I've talked to lots of people in the entertainment world and Scales is a tour de force that seems impossible to ignore. Apparently a lot of entertainment financiers who work behind the scenes have been very impressed with the enormous financial success of Scales. Enormous indeed. Shit. We're so rich. Word on the street is that one, you're one of the most commercially successful entertainment groups in the world. Given how much money Scales must be making, I'm a little surprised you don't choose to live a bit more opulently. From the, outs from the outside, it almost seems like a large portion of your profits have been getting sucked into a black hole. But I guess that's what's so impressive about you. You had such a powerhouse of a business, yet you choose to live so modestly relative your to your group's revenues. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe that kind of austerity is the secret to your success. With that in mind, let's get into what... Uh, what the selection process entails. As I said, Scales is one of several acts we're considering. Should we be having this conversation in the middle of the fucking road? Like, I feel like this is official business. We're inviting you to submit a proposal for why Scales should be one of the acts to represent our country at the International Summer Athletic, Game, uh, Athletic Games closing ceremony. The deadline to submit the proposal is in two months. The day after the submission deadline, the committee will be convening to make a final decision. 
The proposal should be pretty straightforward. I think that's all we needed to cover today. Is there anything else you wanted to say or ask before we adjourn for the for today? Hmm. Who else is there? I'm actually not sure. There are several people who are assisting the committee by reaching out to the various groups that are being considered, and I was chosen out chosen to reach out to you. I don't even know if I'll get to find out which musical acts are on the shortlist. The committee is staying pretty tight-lipped about this. I guess I might have been confusing uh, when I explained things earlier. To clarify, I'm assisting the committee, but I'm not actually part of the committee. So I don't have any decision-making control over who gets chosen. I'm just the one responsible for facilitating meetings like this one. On one hand, it means that I can't vouch for you when the committee me meets to make their decision. On the other hand, it means I can root for you as much as I'd like without worrying about my bias clouding the process too much. So I'll say it outright. Good luck. And don't fuck it up. Oh, there's more. Ma'am, I just received some information from the Ministry of Culture. It's about the proposal that they want us to submit. According to the information that they sent along, they'll be considering the popularity of the song, along with some subjective criteria to determine whether it fits the cultural image the committee wants to project. I think that's just a fancy way of saying that half the decision is going to be based on their subjective opinions and the personal tastes of the committee members. There was something I noticed. The letter we received was signed by every single person on the committee. In short, we know the names of the people who will be making the final decision. It got me thinking. If only there was a way that we could read someone's mind just from knowing their name. It happened. I happened to mention this to Mr. Shitake. I mean, you can. You just go on their fucking Twitter or whatever. Social media is where everyone, everyone posts their goddamn mind. Uh, hey, somebody say my name? Oh, there you are. I was hoping to get uh, get you to talk to Miss Lee, but now's as good as time as any. I forgot what voice I gave Shitake. Uh, SoundCloud rapper? Can you tell Miss Lee what you told me earlier this morning? Sorry, you're gonna have to be more specific. What are you talking about? It's more of a YouTuber voice. Eh, whatever. Well, I mentioned offhandedly that the committee members are going to be making the decision about what idol group to select, partly based on their subjective taste. Right, right. <laughs> and, well, then I said it would be inconvenient if we could read their minds. Okay. Oh, that. Well, it should be obvious, right? You don't have to be a mind reader to learn things about a person's musical taste. Everyone these days has social media presence, including government officials. <laughs> If you pay attention to what kind of posts they like they, and do some basic cyberstalking, you can get a pretty good fix on what their jam is. <laughs> just just a little bit of stalking. It's all right. Can we not use the term cyber cyberstalking? But I do believe that we can perform some internet sleuthing to uncover the specific tastes of the people on the committee. If you do think that is that would be worth our time, I mean, we could have everyone on staff do some of this internet research to figure out what kind of performance would be would best appeal to the sensibilities of the committee. We could learn their likes and dislikes and choose the ideal musical genre, style of choreography, and so on. Man, is that all really necessary? They already said that they'd be looking at some objective criteria like the popularity of the song. Just choose whatever, whichever recent single sold the most copies and call it a day. Yeah. But don't you think it makes the most sense to take a popular song and do a new arrangement of it? We could do an avant-garde cover of one of our own songs, or write, or a hip-hop single, or rewrite the lyrics to be about love instead of regret. I don't know, it seems like a lot of work for something that might not pan out. But I guess I'll do whatever Miss Lee says. If I have to spend all day looking up random people to try and figure out the music taste, I guess I could do that. And I can do some similar research to figure out what kind of lyrics might might be objectionable. It's it's politics. It's always politics. Anyway, the committee gave us a month to prepare, so I think we should make the most of that time. <laughs> I guess it might be worth going overboard, considering how high the stakes are. <laughs> yes, I think so too. Anyway, bear in mind that coming up with new lyrics, or a new arrangement, or new choreography for an old song will probably take some effort as well. It would be good to do research into what the committee likes, but let's not forget to leave time to actually work on developing those things as well. Of course, if we run out of time, we can always default to the song's original lyrics, arrangement, or choreography. Hmm. 
Okay. Interesting. Prepare a song. Uh... Oh, okay, like this. Pop, metal, funk, hip hop. Okay, so do you like funk? Do you like loneliness? And do you like street? Is there a way to appeal to all of these bitches? Oh, if I make it hip hop instead. Hey, that's all of them. Do I have anything that's hip hop? Loneliness street, so I don't have to worry. It's been a while since I did hip hop. Hip hop, loneliness, <gasps> eyes wide open, bitch. Holy fuck! <laughs> Perfect shit. Oh my god. Eyes wide open, motherfucker. Okay, let's continue. Yo. Hey, I heard you got the call. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's cute that you act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Also, I work for you. Why are you keeping secrets? I guess you probably signed all sorts of confidentiality agreements, so I won't ask you to confirm or deny. You work for me. That's fine. <laughs> I think I can put the specifics together myself without any help. You recently made a visit to a, bu to a building that rents office space. As your staffer helpfully informed me when I inquired about your whereabouts earlier this week. You are my staffer. I happen to know one of the owners of that building who may have let slip that the invoices for the office space rental are being sent to the Ministry of Culture. I suppose it's my right to know such things considering that I'm a tax-paying citizen and that it's my money that's being spent on the building rental, no? The Ministry of Culture organizing meetings with pop idol groups this close to the Summer Games can only mean one thing. Well, it could mean lots of things, but my money's on the Summer Games. So, how did I do? We've got a fucking regular sleuth on our hand, ladies and gentlemen. You got it. <laughs> Excellent! Good to see that my powers of deductive reasoning are still intact. In light of that, I come bearing practical advice. If you want things to go well with... A government committee selection pro process don't do anything that would make the wrong kind of headline. Part of the reason they start the evaluation process this early is so that they can have time to ferret out any skeletons that the candidates might have been hiding in their closets. Obviously what's done is done, but at the very least you should try to avoid doing anything that would make them strike you off the list. So don't do any scandal shit. Gotcha. Hmm. We'll try to avoid scandals. Good to hear it. I don't think a single bad headline would disqualify you, but avoid letting too much scandal occur accrue around the scale's name. If you do happen to get a bad headline, do your best to clean it up as soon as possible. And hey, if there are any past scandals that you want to clear up, it can only help things. That's just my two cents. Gotcha. Prepare a song, done. Avoid scandals. Mm-hmm. Scandal points required zero or less? Hello? Oh my god. Wandering song. Play Wander song, it's a good game. Oh, I can release this though. Eve. Eve. Nice. Hey, the rumor mill is going wild right now. Something about the planning committee for the summer games wanting to have an idol group to do the performance during the closing ceremony. Do you know anything about that? Hmm. Yeah, I do. I figured as much. I mean, I was camped out in front of the building where the Ministry of Culture has been holding meetings about that, and I saw someone who looked like you walking in. You must be one of the names on their shortlist, eh? <laughs> Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. I could report that Scales is in the running for the Summer Games, but that would barely grab any attention and probably mess up your relationship with the Selection Committee. Plus, this far out, people don't really care about the Summer Games. My eye is on a much bigger prize. 
I want to be able to report about the idol groups performing for the Summer Games when the Summer Games is a hot search terms. In order to do that, I need to maintain access and not burn my sources. Sources like you! So, your secret is safe with me. For now. Actually, I think your interests and mine are aligned. After all, you and I are pretty good friends, right? Having access to you as a source is a lot more beneficial to me if you become famous as the manager of the group that performed at the Summer Games ceremony. <sighs> I respect the hustle, but you're, like, insane. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a lot more useful to me that way. In light of that, I feel it's my duty to offer you a tip on how to survive the selection process. You might be in the running, but they're considering a lot of other groups, you dig? You've got to make sure that scale stands out. People have short attention spans. Boy, howdy. I know that. If you ask people what their favorite popular song is, they'll probably name something from the past year and probably something really recent. In the fast-moving world of entertainment, you've got to stay relevant. When the selection committee makes their decision, they're going to think about which idols have been doing things lately. Scales might have an accomplished history, but you need to make sure you're still top of the mind when the final selection meetings happen. In short, I think you need to release a number one single between now and the next selection deadline. You know that might seem like a- I know that might seem like a tall order, but remember, they're whittling down the candidates from a list that is probably pretty long at this point. If you're not topping the charts, the other idol groups the committee is considering will probably pull so far ahead of you that you won't be able to catch up. Anyway, best of luck. You scare me. Top of the charts, gotcha. What else we got? You crazy bitch. Word on the street is that the planning committee for the summer game ceremonies has been in contact with some of the hottest idol groups in the scene as of late. Hmm. Have you gotten any calls? A few. I'll leave you to speculate as to how I found out about the Summer Games Committee's selection process. Though, based on the fact that I run Trills, I think you can surmise the details. <laughs> of course, I know that Trills isn't the only one in the running. I have it on good authority that Scales is in the running as well. The committee only plans to select one group. Or, to be more accurate, they plan to select one female idol group, which means that Scales and Trills would be vying for the same slot. <laughs> this means that your fate and mine are intertwined. Stop flirting. Like, I'm not- I'm not into you like that, sir. You're, like, a little too crazy. Uh. I wonder, knowing that, what will you do? What's your plan? Uh. For now, stay the course. Actually, right now, I'm just concerned with Scales doing well in the selection process. Dude, we've been beating your ass in the goddamn charts for so long. I need Trills to do well, but I'm not stressing over that since I have control over it. Scales' performance is entirely out of my hands. I may fill you in on the details at a later date, but right now, I actually just need Scales to survive the selection process. Dude... We're literally better than you already. Hmm. Why do you want skills to do well? Uh. Didn't I just tell you that I might fill you in on the details at a later date? That implies that it's not time to tell you yet. You're, you're so fucking sus, my guy. You need to chill. For now, I just need scales to do well in the process. To that end, here's some free advice. The selection committee wants to choose groups that are well-known. The more fans you have, the more people they can expect to tune in at the Summer Games. Let's face it, in this digital age, people have way better things to do than watch a two-hour ceremony on TV. If they can put some famous singers and dancers in the ceremony, it's going to get a lot more people to tune in. Scales' fan base has been enough to get you this far in the selection process, but I know how these committees think. They don't want a groom that's a has-been. They want a group that's on the upswing. If you lose fans between now and the final selection, that's not the kind of thing that's going to impress the committee. In fact, that's not enough to stay the same- it's not enough to stay the same size. 
Being in this business is like being a shark. You'll die if you're not swimming forward. Stagnation is death in this industry. To really impress the committee, you, you'll, you want your fan base to grow by at least 20% between now and when they make the selection cutoff. If you're able to do that, well, we can talk about it then. Alright, that just means promotions, bitch. Two fucking million, bitch. Fuck. Hold on. What's a cafe do, huh? Cafes provide you with a passive daily income. Uh, send idols to work in the cafe to gain new fans. Based on your promotion level and their stats. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Playful parfait. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit 2,203,000 fans by fucking 27th of April. That's crazy. Maybe I'll do a new show. Who wants a show? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Melamela tonight. We're almost at 2 million. I don't know if I can hit fucking 2... Like, I don't know, man. Oh, thank God. Okay, that's top of the charts. We're good on that front. Release now. Do we hit it? Yes, we do. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're good. That's good. That's great. Uh, street Warden. Surely I can hit this, right? Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Instant recovery chance. 40%. <sighs> Can I win that? Can I win that roulette wheel? Yay! Oh, thank god. Uh... <sighs> Fuck me! I'm sorry. I'm panicking. Ha. Uh... Right, um... You... We're gonna have to go. Um, get a new one. Sorry. Yeah, I used to set you back to auto styling. <gasps> that sucks. Come on. Oh, fuck, I'm not gonna hit this, am I? None of a fuck. No, no, fuck. My fan base was too fucking big to begin with. God damn it. Hello, Hello ma'am. Uh, submission deadline for the big proposal for the Summer Athletic Games is coming up. Uh, Ministry of Culture expects us to have everything submitted in one week. If you want to make any adjustments to the proposal between now and then, we should probably do that. If you don't have any time to complete the proposal, I can always fill in some details on my own so that we can at least submit something. But it would probably be worth your time to review it, just to sh ensure that we're doing everything to make it to the next round. <laughs> I know a lot of people would be really happy if we were selected. I'm- bitch, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying my best, I really am. But this fucking fan base is just too big to grow 20% in that short amount of time. <sighs> Yabba! I mean, last ditch effort, I can try to release another album, like, right now. Wow, that sold a lot, even though I, even though I released, like, way too early. That's not nearly enough. <sighs> Damn it. Spirit. This one's a little relevant. I'm gonna send the proposal for the Summer Athletic Games performance to the Ministry of Culture tomorrow. If you wanted to make any last minute changes or adjustments to the proposal, you should pr probably do that right away. Or at least make sure you get to it before the end of the day. Bitch. Nor. I was so close. Am I fucked? Ah. <sighs> <sighs> 
Man, am I fucked? God damn it. I tried. I tried, girls. I think we're fucked. God damn it. I just wanted to let you know that I sent the proposal for the Summer Athletic Games Committee. I also received a phone call from them verifying that they'd received all of the information, so I guess the only thing that remains at this point is for us to wait and see what happens. Oh god. Girls, I'm sorry for all of the fucking pain y'all went through. <sighs> Excuse me, ma'am, the Ministry of Culture has requested another meeting with you. I set up the meeting for tomorrow since you had that afternoon, afternoon slot free. Apparently, they've narrowed the field to the final crop of candidates and wanted to conduct an interview before making their final selection. Um, what do I bring? <laughs> ah, I'm glad you asked that. The person who contacted me actually specifically said that there was no need to prepare a formal proposal just yet. Apparently, the committee wants to meet with you before, the, before you submit your proposal. It's a good thing because I don't think we ever got any information about what, what they needed for the proposal. Anyway, I guess you'll be winging it. As the kids say. Who's fucking injured? I'm sorry. Can I win that fucking roulette again? I don't imagine I will, but I can try. Oh, fuck, you're on hiatus. Shit. Oh, not long, though. Okay, that's fine, then. Let's continue the story. Ah, Miss League, so good to see you. It's been too long since we last spoke. <laughs> too long indeed. Nation of Idols feels like a light lifetime ago. The Ministry of Culture selected me for the selection committee on an ad, uh, ad hoc basis based on my expertise in the field of popular music, and it's an honor to be serving here with them. I suppose it seems fitting that we'd both end up here, you on one side of the table presenting your talent and me on the other side, judging it along with the rest of the committee. Sir, we're in the middle of the street. What fucking table? When it comes to decision-making, I'm just one voice among, among many. Among us? In fact, I'm so glad that this panel represents such a diversity of interests. They'd like to shake hands with you and have you answer a few questions, if that sounds alright to you. Sure. Did I pass? Oh god, this is fucking scary. What the hell? Miss Lee, several committee members have uh, drafted and submitted some questions before you arrived, so I'll just read them to you now. We've already had a chance to get familiar with scales, but what we really want to understand is the mindset behind the person who is responsible for running it. In short, we're going to ask any questions. We're going to ask questions about scales, but what we're most curious about is how you think. First off, help us understand how you perceive the cultural appeal of scales. What do you think it is that draws fans to scales? Hmm. <laughs> Probably not the music, because we have so many different genres of music uh, that I kind of doubt people who are fans of like any one genre are here for scales. Uh, and it's same goes for our dance performances. Like we do so many different kinds of fucking dance. And like I know there's people that are into like variety, but that's not really the, you know, the, the general public. So I would say the personalities of the idols. I see. I'll refrain from providing commentary and just get to the next question. How would you describe your role at Scales? Or another way of putting it would be, what is the most important thing that Scales as an organization provides for its idols? Uh, training. A group that's stronger than a lone individual. Provide a way for the idols to reach fans. Provide training to develop the idols' talents. Uh, I mean, all of these? Uh... Considering how many bullies are in this group, probably not the third one. Uh, we do training. I think that answers the question. Though the way you say it, it seems like the idols are the ones who are doing everything that makes sales what it is. Does anyone have any follow up questions? No one from the committee speaks up. Well then. Here's the last question. It seems that you're interested in representing our nation at an, on an international stage. It would represent a tremendous amount of work in planning for the event. It would likely disrupt Scales' performance schedule and impede your ability to hold concerts and other 
and performances that represent the commercial lifeblood of a group like Scales. In light of that, why do you want Scales to perform at the Summer Games? Uh, 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 uh. It would be an honor to represent the country in front of an international audience. Our duty as citizens to represent our country, Scales is the group best qualified to represent Japan's unique idol culture to the world. Mm, is it? Mm, one. I see. Well, thanks for taking the time to meet with us. Before you go, I think the committee members would all like to take the chance to offer personal introductions. One by one, all of the sweaty old men committee members come forward and offer a greeting, each of them presenting a business card before leaving. Several minutes later, you and Tanaki Yasunori are the only ones left standing in the room. The committee is going to take some time to, del to deliberate. This building has a lobby area where you, where you would probably be more comfortable while we wait to call you. Jeez. Cold much? Ugh. Ah, oh, Miss Lee. Fancy seeing you here. I presume you're here for the same reasons I am. Cat got your tongue? It would, it would be odd to be inhibited from speaking candidly, considering that we've both signed the same confidentiality agreements. If you're fearful of saying something you shouldn't, well, let's just say that I don't share that same fear. At any rate, I think the committee has made up their minds. You're the obvious choice. Mm. To be clear, I'm not saying that Scales is the best act that they could choose for this, bitch. But you are the obvious choice. You're new enough to be somewhat hip and popular, but established enough that even people who aren't plugged into the zeitgeist will probably be aware of who you are. Am I? Bitch, I worked as a cashier. <laughs> you don't create art that's too challenging. People know what they're getting from you. You're not exactly an auteur. Uh, the committee is looking for someone like you, not me. I'm too much of an artiste. I fucking hate this dude. Holy shit. I'm not fucking speaking a goddamn word. You don't want to agree with me? Well, that doesn't change the facts. I don't resent you in the slightest. We both played the game. If you won, that means you played it better. Why would I begrudge you for that? If anything, I feel like this should build up some kind of spirit of camaraderie between us, don't you think? If there's one thing that I'm unhappy about, it's the knowledge of it's the knowledge that perhaps the people on the committee might reject me and my group based on an incorrect understanding of what I am. If they want to reject me based on merits, then that's fine. Hell, if they want to reject me over a petty grudge that Mr. Tanaka is still holding, I could even live with that. But what would really break my heart is if they rejected me without really knowing who I am. That's what I like about you, Miss Lee. You and I have gone through the same struggles. You get me. Sir, you have not experienced, like, any of my struggles. Canonically, I worked at a fucking, like, minimum wage manager job. Like, you had Fujimoto's... Like, sugar daddy money coming in since birth, dude. Since birth. And I get you- no, you do not. Even if I might not know everything that's going on inside your head, even if I ha still have some secrets that I'm holding close to my chest, we understand each other. Nah. What do you call that kind of relationship? Delusional. Dude, really? <laughs> uh... Hate. I think you may be right, Miss Lee. I used to think that when you truly get to know someone, you start to like them in the same way that they like themselves. But perhaps you and I aren't the kind of people who like ourselves. I like myself just fine, dude. I think you're projecting your fucking issues. Perhaps we're the kind of people who hate ourselves. No, I just hate you. If you can find someone who hates you in the same way that you hate yourself, maybe that might be the most special relationship of all. You are literally batshit, dude. <laughs> Regardless of how things turned out, I don't think you and I have seen the last of each other. At least, I hope not. Oh. Ah. Ah, uh, hello, you two. 
Miss Lee, would you like to come and speak to me privately? Privately, please, Mr. Bakugo. Thank you. So at this point, the committee has narrowed the selection down to three candidates. You'll be our primary candidate, and two others will be serving as backup candidates. Well, what does that mean? One of you will be, will be performing at the Summer Games. As the primary candidate, by default, you'll be performing. However, if something happens that would prevent Scales from performing at the event, we'll go with one of the backups. Uh, what would prevent them from performing? Well, we have to be prepared in case something happens. Like, suppo uh, like say, there's, suppose there's an accident that would prevent you from performing. Or suppose something happened that would cause your appearance to cause an image problem for the Summer Games. In that case, we would go with one of the backup candidates. For example, if something happened that caused Scales to be disgraced or otherwise unqualified to represent the nation at a prestigious event such as the Summer Games, we would instead select one of the backup candidates to perform. What I'm saying is that, at this point, you're our first choice. You should plan and act as if you're going to be the group performing at, uh, for the closing ceremonies, and we'll be making plans and coordinating with Scales leading up to the, to the event. However, should you be careful not to do or say anything in public that could jeopardize that? Likewise, all members of Scale should be on their best behavior. Do you understand? Awfully strict. <laughs> Considering that representing the country at an event like this is one of the highest honors a musician can receive, yes, the committee is willing to be very strict. It's the reason we selected ma multiple backup candidates. That being said, you're the one the committee likes, likes the most. They did select you to be primary for a reason, so you should be happy about that. Just don't do anything between now and July to mess this up. You worked hard for this. Just keep working hard, okay? And good job. It's incredible you've gotten this far. You nearly won the race. You made it to the front of the pack. All you have to do now is avoid tripping. Of course, you've also got a huge task ahead of you. You have to prepare, prepare for that dance. Dance? Uh, the committee selected Scales because they believed that they had the dedication to practice that performance until it could be 100% perfect. So do your best to prove them right. The committee is giving you the opportunity to impress the world with your performance. Dude, I guarantee you that 95% of the fucking audience, if not more, like 95 at least percent of the audience watching the fucking summer games is not gonna fucking notice if any of those idols makes a goddamn mistake. Now all that remains is for you to impress them. Oof. Don't mess up until July 25th. That's scary. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> That's scary. This is a scary fucking chapter. Shit. Congratulations on making the big time. It's a real privilege to be able to represent the country on a stage like this. You've definitely earned it. Uh, how do you how do you know about that? A little bird whispered it in my ear. Just watch your back, all right? I'm not the only one who knows about your anointed status. Let's make sure nobody steals this away from us. Yeah, like Sasuke fucking Bakugo, dude. Chapter six. Oh, this is scary. Oof. Yeesh. I think I will end it there, though. What a fucking chapter. Holy fuck. Oof. I really thought I fucked up not ticking off the, like, fan requirement. Oh, shit. I really thought I fucked it up hard. But... <sighs> we made it. Uh, that said, I think there's only more... There's only more ahead of us. So, I, s I will see you all next time. Bye bye. See ya.